Bob Lowe joined by Michael Manfro, who recently pitched a no-hitter against Arcadia. Michael, talk a little bit about the game. Um, well, it felt good since, you know, I started warming up in the bullpen. You know, my fastball was, was just blowing it by him, so I threw mainly, mainly fastballs, but, you know, my off-speed was working well, too. Defense, we hit the ball real well, one nine nothing. so it's a good game overall. And uh, Michael Parker made a pretty good play to save the no-no, didn't he? Uh, yeah, he did. It was a phenomenal catch that he made, you know, all out. No outs in the seventh inning, so, you know, it was, came up big for me. Now, it's, uh, there's some superstition in baseball. You don't want to talk about it when somebody has a no-hitter. What happened with that? People kind of staying away from you? Uh, yeah, I was sitting beside myself for a good four or five minutes on the bench, but um, people were talking about it, so it didn't get to me. Played, played, played my game. What about in the sixth inning? Pride was that bad for it seemed like about 40 minutes or so. Was that a little tough knowing that you wanted to get back out there or did you just stay warm? Um, yeah, I just I kept myself on the bench to myself. Um, everybody was asking me if I wanted to keep throwing. I said, no, just, just calm down, keep it there. My heart was beating already, so, you know, just take a breath and wait for it. Now, you, you've uh, had a real good year last year, struggled a little bit, but maybe this will be the thing that turns the season around for you and the Pride. You guys now, after today's win against Maryville, won three in a row. Is that sort of like a tipping point for the team? Um, I hope so. It feels good, and um, hopefully we can keep this streak going for sure. Well, that's Pride pitcher Michael Manfro after his no-hitter.